This coverage of EFA 2016 was done in collaboration with Linus from Techline HD. You should definitely check out his channel because he makes some really awesome videos. And there will be soon something to get on our channels, so subscribe guys! Now let me show you the best portable projectors which I've tested so far. Probably you have seen my video from the CBIT. I had a look at the iBeam Block prototype from iptech, a really interesting device. It totally redefines portable projectors because it's fully modular, it's like LEGO because it consists out of a dual OS Windows 10 tablet on the top, the projector, a power bank and even a speaker system. The projector has 300 lumens and HD resolution which offers cinema quality projection. It also can connect with a PC, notebook or tablet and also a smartphone for mirror projection via an HDMI port. The project is capable of creating a mobile cinema from 20 to 120 inches screen size and also offers a 3D image playback and auto keystone corrections. So the optional dual OS tablet with the Intel C3735F quad cores clocked with 1.33 GHz and a kind of small 4.5 inch multi-touch IPS LCD. So probably you will say it's not a tablet because it's just like a phone which you can attach to your project and yes you're actually right. The capacity of the power bank is 12,000 mAh which will last up to 2 hours and the total price will be 699 with the tablet. So not really cheap but the quality is really nice and hopefully you're also able to upgrade the modules. It would be a great way to work against the environmental bullshit we're doing today like buying a tablet and six months later we trash it and we buy a new ecosystem. That's actually more for the business guys, but as you may know, I'm not really a business guy, otherwise I wouldn't drive a crappy Opel, but the new iptech P800 is exactly what I was looking for. Hot summer nights, watching a football game, having loads of beer, and then you want to listen to music. But always the problem, music is only good loud. And that's why the P800 has a 360 degree sound system integrated. 10 watts per direction that makes it 40 watts total. That's really a lot and I have to say it sounds great, good bass, highs, mids, so that's all I want. The projector's DLP with 800 lumens, at around 1280x800 native resolution and the picture size up to 120 inches again. It weighs 2.5 kg so it's kind of portable and has a 36,000 mAh battery included which lasts for 4 hours so that's actually perfect for outdoor movie evenings or something like that. Now I don't know the exact hardware of the tablet at the top but it should be a Samsung CPU and GPU and more info in the description. So this thing retails for $9.99 so for western prices here not too expensive but still expensive. Now if you keep in mind that it's a total portable cinema solution, now honestly I need it, I will probably sell my Opel for that. <laughs> now last but not least we have the iptech i70, already long on the market but a reliable DLP mini projector. Currently I review the Duchi projector and it's a bit cheaper but a noisy Android KitKat cube from China. Honestly if I spend over 200 for a projector with tax and all that, I wouldn't go with some China crap like the Duji one. Even though it has the same 70 lumens and also the same resolution of 854x480 pixels, the nice thing about the i70 is that it also has an HDMI port for your notebook or other devices, while the Duji is an all-in-one cube. So if you're looking for a small projector, I can really recommend the iptech i70. But well, there are many many DLP projectors from China right now on the market, but those cheap brands, they just pop up and disappear out of the Nova. So I would go with iptech because also heat dissipation is a big topic on DLP projectors and all those things. So um, actually if I spend like 200 on a portable project that should be some kind of good quality, right? So stay tuned for my full review of the Duchi projector and some iptech DLP projectors and please comment this video down below and like it to help us growing and subscribe that you don't miss any future reviews. I'm Steven for Tech Magnet and thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye bye.